Hey, hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad, and uh, in today's daily dose of tarot, we are going to check into 8th of uh, June 2022. And uh, should any of you guys be interested in a personal reading with me, you can uh, check out the description down below where you will see a link to my website. Uh, in which at the very front page you can see a full list of my services and as well their pricing and uh, so with that said let's check into the cards of the day and the very first one that happens to be uh, the king of uh, cups here followed by the second one which oh wow oh. we have the moon from all cards of all cards we throw the king of cups and the moon <laughs> and the third one i would love to see an earth or water well i would prefer more the earth than the than the water but it is uh, it is an air card which is the four uh the four of swords here it could have been worse it could have been a fire card which would have totally annihilated the the goodness of the day uh nonetheless we do have these um these three cards for the day here okay so the king of cups with the moon and then it is the four of swords and we are for a a really really good day ahead of us so the day is going to revolve around a pretty <laughs> importantness to say the least. It's not even about being an important, it's about being... Well, well, listen, we do have the King of Cups and the Moon sitting next to each other. That is a person which is bound to be in our life for better or for worse. Okay, just and because the moon does sit there, we don't know what for. The only thing certain in these cards is that we do have a future with this one, and it is a, an emotional future on top of all that. So, the day is going to be about this person that we do have a future with them. And I don't know how to put it into English. I don't know exactly the word for that. But it is the when they... I would try to, to say it that way. It is when they try to open up about it. Okay? And that comes from these two cards here. The King of Swords and... Uh, the King of Cups and the Four of Swords. Okay? Uh, it is just, you know... They will want to talk about something... But they, uh, if I gotta guess here, they will not gonna be able to find the words without, say, exposing themselves. Because make no mistake, I mean the moon and the king of cups, who man, I mean that's a person who um, have a very deep emotions for us. And they don't have to be necessarily love. But it looks that way, because uh, with uh, with these cards, I mean, things we do touches them deeply, and even if it isn't an intimate one, it is love there. Okay, just just make no mistake. And so throughout the day, this uh, bond we have is going to make them very wavery, if I may put it that way. I don't want to say, excuse me about that, I don't want to say insecure or uncertain, they are secure and certain that we do have a future one way or the other, that's not the problem. The problem it is that that future, it's not yet there and uh, it's the, that eats them from within. They probably would want that future to come as fast as they can. Or, or as it can, but again, without them, kind of like, if I, if I know better, I would say, if I didn't know better, I would say, but without them showing that they care, okay, uh, which uh, is going to create that problem, and that's, I don't know how to put it into words, that 
drama as well if you will that's no different than for example someone try to tell you how much they care for you and or even how much they love you but they're trying to do it through suggestions which is not the best way of saying it i mean if you do love someone just just say it there is nothing shameful about that i i don't know it's just whenever you know someone tries to expose themselves it's kind of like they are going there from a position of weakness right but being weak it's not shameful so i don't know what kind of advice to give you guys i don't know what kind of advice to give to myself as well but it's just we should we should try to predispose that person to talk about it without feeling threatened without feeling that there is go there are going to be any negative consequences coming out of it okay because once if we if we go about go about that way showing them or rather like even making a suggestion it's not even a suggestion it's more like a um, a standpoint that there are going to be some negative consequences like we are going to mock on them we are going to use it as a leverage and so on and so forth uh, probably they're going to get back into their shell and it's going to take a very much or a very long time for them to try to open up again one way or another. And uh, so what boils down to it is that if we do play our cards right tomorrow, that person should offer us the future that we are or at least should offer us their part of the future that we are bound to be together in whether um, business whether uh, friendship whether i don't know intimate relationship as well it is on the it is on the plate also that's the thing okay we gotta talk about our feelings it's it's a very thin line that we do have in, in in wednesday okay talking about the the circumstances talking about um how how can i put it into words talking about the uh uh logically about the whole thing it just it's not gonna make sense no thing is gonna be thrown out of the window if you are to talk about something with this person and you will understand that when you know that that is a person who behaves in a very different when a way that when they are around you i don't know how to put it into words but if you talk about with this individual for anything but the feelings and like i said um the whole thing is going to be thrown out of the window and so with that said this is uh, our daily tarot guidance here um Hopefully we don't screw this one around and I hope you do enjoyed the reading. We may see each other next time. Until then, bye.